You can take them in line. If you get in an accident, call 844 24 For official rules and more information about contact on this station, go to remember the 13 kids who escaped their parents' home in 2018, they were living in Paris, and the parents apparently had some of them clean to the bags, and it's a horrible situation. So, apparently, the foster father, she was caring for five of the kids, once they were sent to what they call the House of Horrors, they don't, yeah, the House of Horrors, he apparently victimized two of the children's siblings, and it was two of the girls, apparently, this man, the foster father, inappropriately cut two of the girls, one who was under 14 on their upper thighs and buttocks, and apparently also forcibly cooked them. He was his word. Why do they use uh, inappropriate behavior sexually cutting as opposed to rape? Well, I, the definition of rape isn't that there has to be, sorry to get graphic, but penetration. In what are the chances that in these crimes it doesn't happen that way? I would think that, and I'm, 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 my complaint is that they don't want to use the word, and I don't know why. If that's what it is, it's nothing short of that. But you're right, I think great is penetration. Or with an object or uh, with any part of your body. Let me put on my mind attorney's hat. Maybe it's just a function of they believe it might have happened, but it's not necessarily something they could prove in court. Or the testimony is a little bit maybe more That resonates, but I very rarely hear the word. That's why. And it's horrible. I mean, I digress and off the story. That was just me complaining about the word uh, but it is. I mean, I'm trying that, and, and the foster's care system is not being attacked here. No, you want to you, you want to lie. I remember Gabriel Fernandez when he was little kid. Foster system on him. Uh, well, the same thing happened here. I mean, you, the, what happens is you don't have kids back. Welcome to the show. Andrew, and I just feel so bad for them. Oh, guys, so they were getting to the bed. Then their what their their safety is Andrew to go to this man yeah. who yeah. allegedly touches them. Yeah. I mean, what, what else are these kids expected yeah. to put up with? Yeah, here's a word. Yeah, it's, this is going to get weirder probably as we learn yeah, more about it. Five fetuses were found in the DC oh, home of a self-proclaimed anti-abortion activist who was indicted this week on federal charges for allegedly blocking access to a reproductive clinic. Lauren Harvey, 28 year old activism director for the anti-abortion group Progressive Anti-Abortion Uprising, has been staying at the house. Uh, Evidently, she was one of nine people charged in this indictment, which was unsealed on Wednesday. And said that this was a group traveling to D.C. to block access to this health center. And Handy told reporters that people were going to freak out when they heard in terms of what was stored in coolers in the house. Yeah, that's not necessarily a crime either, uh, because you uh, have to turn a boy to see this, uh, and they somehow get hold of it. Uh, then I don't know if there's a law saying that the fetus might be uh, either buried or cremated or destroyed. I think uh, that the woman who carried the cow can pretty well do what she wants to. And so there was no crime here with the fetus. If that's what it is, it's interfering with an abortion pregnancy. And uh, I, I, you know what they do? They know the bodies, for example, of fetuses, you know, from now on. You know, look at this. It's a human being. And how do you know, there's a lot of graphics. Uh, aspect, yeah. and, uh, that one, uh, it certainly works as a, 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 a graphic uh, example of uh, abortion, that's for sure. 
Yeah, so yesterday we talked about how it came out that Patrick Bruce Willis is suffering from aphasia, which is a cognitive disorder that uh, affects a person's ability to communicate. And yesterday we talked about how he said he was stepping away from the business, but now, according to a, the director of a project that Bruce Willis has been working on, one of his latest action films, there was an urgent request that was put out to make the movie start part smaller. And Mike Burns, the director of Out of Death, which is the current project, says it looks like we need to knock down Bruce's page count by about five pages. We also need to abbreviate his dialogue a bit so there are no monologues, etc. Mo was mentioning yesterday. Oh, yeah, he didn't know this. Yeah, yeah. 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 He can, he can actually watch his later films and see the deterioration. I've never noticed that. I don't know. He's really Yeah, you know, he gets to the point where you know, he had to wear an earpiece. And his lines had to be given to him. You know, our television anchors do, or they wear that IUD in their ear. And uh, I asked the IUD. Of course. They're basically the same. At least you don't get IUD. Yeah, those are a little bit big. But in any case, uh, you know, when you get to that point, you can't remember your lines. And not because yeah, you're not a professional and lazy, because you get your expectation for hard workers. And so. You know, yeah, that's that part of it. And the family, I love it when the family, the family goes public and he goes public. Uh, uh, to say, hey, this is what happened, it's not uh, hidden. It's, it's, uh, it used to be where uh, sort of people in the circumstances are public figures who have medical problems and have to just disappear. Now it's, hey, this is what happened. Uh, Tim Cook, remember, um, he had a colonoscopy on camera on the Today Show because her uh, husband had died of colon cancer. And she wanted to make this uh, a very public, to be a, uh, let the, the company know, or let the country know uh, how important it is to understand. All right, let's uh, go ahead and come back in a moment. And we'll finish handle on the news. In the meantime, Jennifer John Lee, live from the KFI Center for our news. Another round of news shots between Russia and Ukraine is underway, Ukraine president has said he's willing not to try and join NATO in exchange for a ceasefire and security guarantees. The House is voting today on legalizing marijuana. Most states have already done that, either medically or recreationally, but it is still illegal at the federal level. And fans of Foo Fighters are not surprised. They won't be performing at Sunday's Grammy. The rock band officially canceled following the death of drummer Taylor Hawkins. Here's the hot weather from KFI. Looks like it's going to be a mostly sunny day today with highs from the 60s at the beaches to the 70s inland. This report is brought to you by Grocery Outlet. Let's get another update on the 101. Uh, West Bank kind of between Van Nuys Boulevard and Sepulveda, which is close to the 405. What's also now is actually just the end of the Van Nuys Boulevard on land to the West 101. That's a complicated area, so you got to be careful. But a lot of fire department activity doesn't happen there. I mean, somebody needs some help. That's for sure. So the bottom line, West 101 is kind of slow, but still moving. Coming away from the 170 134, not too bad. Well, listen, there was a problem. I'm happy to tell you about 57 on time, and it's all clear. A little slow down the hill. Jeff Barr, hey, up high in the sky. Your neighborhood grocery outlet has the main brand you love. All it's stuffing or no prices. But do you ever wonder how to do it? Simple. They buy opportunistic items for us. And that's the same thing you like to do. Stop by your local grocery outlet today. This report is sponsored by Discover. Real credit card questions require real people. Someone who understands your issues and works to resolve them with you. That's why Discover offers helpful U.S.-based representatives. Available 24-7. Discover. Exceptionally sound and safe. Trial lawyers, special lawyers, personal injury cases of all kinds. Product or premises, crime podcast. 
what happened to Stan Dreeel in the alarming death of a young woman who dreamed of a career in law enforcement? Journalist Melissa Delson untangles the mystery at the heart of the investigation, revealing a troubling pattern by officials close to the case. I'm just taking the other time. Because I could tell that they were trying to be quiet. Listen to what happened to Stan Dreeel on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. There is a lot of information out there about COVID-19 and truth, but it's important to stay the fact, not to violence. While COVID-19 vaccines are new, the science behind them is based on records of research. Clinical studies have confirmed they are safe and effective at protecting kids and the whole thing. Share the fact, not the virus. Help your child's doctor or visit myplan.co.com. As the country bounces back from COVID and mass mandates are lifted, your business needs a lift, period. So know your company right here, right now. Radio ads connect with 93% of Americans every week. That's more than Google, more than Facebook, more than TV. In fact, radio reaches 20% more millennials than TV. Want more of the people you want to talk to all in one place? Visit iHeartAdvertising.com and get a Has been specializing in the repair and replacement of water heaters since 1968. That's over 54 years of the original water heater specialist. Visit waterheatersonly.com for zero interest financing, terms and conditions apply. Request a quick quote or call to speak with a live operator 24 hours a day. Don't wait and don't overpay. Visit waterheatersonly.com today. Waterheatersonly.com. Having the time of your life is more rewarding than ever when you stay at any of the 20 plus NPM resorts nationwide. Now with NPM Rewards, you can dine, stay, play, and earn on all of it. Visit NPMRewards.com for more details. Subject to earning and essential interest. When folks first came into Europe, they were declared the work of the devil. If you keep talking crap about forks, I'm going to smack your face. Well, they are the devil's work. Yeah, it is funny to talk about the Elvis Presley with the temples before. We couldn't show it from waist down. It just was always the fork report with the Elvis Presley. The bar after this is a fair time. AFI 3140. More stimulated accounts. But one of the streets of the world and the bank has had some different symptoms and the official COVID is a Friday morning, April 1. It's a and me. Just in case you want to have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you may want to rethink that. Skippy Foods is recalling thousands of pounds of Skippy peanut butter because of stainless steel fragments possibly being found in what they're calling a limited number of jars. Yeah, I mean, just a tiny bit. You don't get a chance. It's voluntary. I also just found out it is California. It's one of our best numbers. And you have to check. You can go to the website and just run a uh, you know, skippy recall. You know, and, and, and a person will give you, or a work person will give you everything. So now they have three different versions. They have smooth, they have crunchy, they have extra crunchy. With metal products. Yummy. Florida, California, you get the favor COVID vaccine requirements even as they're being lifted. So there was a poll done, and most Californians say they still like the requirements to improve the vaccinations at large outdoor gatherings or to enter places. 
and the survey though also noted a wide divide based on political affiliation big stuff, illustrating that uh, you know that's been the case all through California. So I'm wondering if the people who lean say more right are like forget it, we don't care, and if the people say who lean more left, which would be the majority of Californians based on a voting, um, then you would see, of course, then that's how the next exactly exactly how it panned out. Exactly. All right, quick survey. Uh, Jennifer, yes on uh, vaccination. Do you feel better about everybody being vaccinated? Yeah, sure, but honestly, I, you don't care. I don't care. Uh, okay. I'm vaccinated, so I don't care. Buzz, I, I agree with Jennifer. I, I, I'm right. vaccinated, but I don't care. That's right. Um, okay. You know, when, when people go to the Michelle, where's Teresa today? I agree with them both. I'm vaccinated and stuff. Right. And Tyler? Terrible well, with the group. Have okay, I'm against all of you guys. Um, you want I don't want everybody to be yeah, right. Everybody be vaccinated uh, because uh, it's not 100 percent protection, and, uh, and uh, so what so we have we have 90 percent protection uh, if you're vaccinated. You now, if the other person has 90 percent protection, uh, so wow, your chances of getting COVID are really reduced. Where if the other person is not, you still have a 10 percent chance. But we're talking about this. Public sector or the private sector? Uh, it, doesn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I like, I like the, uh, the, the free market to decide. Well, in, in what's happening right now is what happens. But I'm, I'm a big fan of mandates. I truly am. Okay. 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 Okay.
Tiger's Hairs. Familiarize yourself with the 2011 Acura MDX. Go anywhere versatility with roomy practicality. A 3.7 liter V6 engine pairs with a sophisticated 6-speed automatic transmission, providing a smooth and predictable driving experience. Well-tuned suspension and stability control deliver a spirited yet composed ride and drive. Acura perfected each and every component on the exterior surface. Stylish alloy wheels suggest both sport and refinement, residing elegantly within the fender arches. You can rely on ultra-bright xenon headlights to keep the roadway illuminated. In colder climates, occupants will appreciate the heated front seats, pairing with the climate control to keep the driver and front passenger comfortable. All of the premium features expected of an Acura are offered, including power trunk closing assist, a power seat, and cruise control. Other available features include a blind spot monitoring system, a rear seat entertainment system, and more based on your selected trim. Acura also prioritized safety and security by including dual front impact airbags with occupant sensing airbag, brake assist, and four-wheel disc brakes with ABS. The 2011 Acura MDX. Distinctly rendered with the utmost precision, this vehicle is constructed with a discerning driver in mind. More basic, I get your I'm going to send this case. 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 I